Test one, two, test one, two. We are live here at the Jack Manley Wellness and Athletic Center getting set for CCBC Catonsville Cardinals men's basketball as the Cardinals take on the Skipjacks of Chesapeake College in game two of our doubleheader. Hello folks, this is the big man on the mic, Isaac Donsky, ready to bring all the action to you. We've got a very, very exciting game up ahead as the Cardinals take on the defending Region 20 champions from last year, the Chesapeake Skipjacks. Last season, Chesapeake 30 and four, one Region 20 basically ran away with it. But unfortunately, this season things haven't gone according to plan. The, Cardinal, the Skipjacks have struggled to a 10 and 10 record and are looking to rebound. On the other hand, the Cardinals, in the midst of a fantastic season so far, as they have emerged as legit contenders in Region 20, thanks in large part to a solid core of offensive stars, many of whom can go at, le at least three deep. This is one, this is one heck of a team, and they're up for a test today as they face the Skipjacks. Let's meet the starters and coaches for tonight's contest. We we'll start with the visitors from Chesapeake. The starters are as follows: at forward, freshman from Lesby, Maryland, number five, Andre Stewart. At freshman, at guard, a freshman from Arnold, Maryland, number fifteen, Josh Rivers. At guard, a sophomore from Clearwater, Florida, number twenty-one, Marquise Maccabee. At center, a sophomore from Gra Gams Brills, Maryland, number 23, Azim Sana. And at center, a sophomore from Dunkirk, Maryland, number 24, Tom Neeson. Tom Neeson. The Skipjacks are led by head coach Andrew Sachs and assistant coaches Delonte Joyce and David Walton. As for the CCBC Catonsville Cardinals, here are their starters. Starting at forward, a sophomore from Towson, Maryland, number zero, Jason Ogbalu. Starting at guard, a sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland, number two, Jamal Lee. Starting at Guard, a sophomore from Katy, Texas, number three, Murray Grant. Starting at guard, a freshman from Connecticut, number 23, Micah Morgan. And starting at forward, a sophomore from Ireland, number 24, Albright of Bode. The Cardinals are led by head coach TJ Prilo, assistant coaches Ashley Sammons and Roger Camphor. So we'll go ahead and get started with opening ceremonies as the Cardinals take on the Skipjacks. That's coming up next on the Cardinals Network. Thank you. 
hopefully I did not lose my voice doing that intro. That would not be fun. <laughs> We apologize for the uh, rushed intro there, folks. We're trying to kind of cutting it close with this game, but we've gotten underway. We're ready to start. So, Skipjacks, defending Region 20 champs, Navy and White. They will be joined on the court by the Cardinals. Home White, red numbers, black trim. It will be Abode and Nissen at center court as we kick off this game. Crucial game for the Cardinals that were underway. Skipjacks will win the toss. It'll be Santa beginning for the Skipjacks. He tosses to number five. Andre Stewart were underway. Stewart heavily guarded by Morgan looking for an opening. He flips it out to 15. That's Josh Rivers. Nissen. They go back to Stewart. Stewart now finds Maccabee. Shot goes up and good. Skipjacks strike first. See what the Cardinals could do in response. Murray Grant, deep for three, won't go. Rebound fought for, going out of bounds. And possession will go to the Skipjacks. Chesapeake will be running with a double center approach here as both Tom Neeson and Azim Sana starting at center. They do not have a lot of availability. They only have one substitute. Maccabee dishes out to Sana. Sana for three, takes a bounce, will go. Morgan with the rebound. And Micah Morgan coming the other way, finds Murray Grant. Grant back to Morgan, looking for an opening. Back to Grant. Grant finds Jamal Lee. Lee puts it up, and in. First points of the night for the Cards. Deep inbounds pass going to Azim Sana, and we're going the other way. Josh Rivers with the ball, looking for an opening. Cardinals playing a tough D. Inside pass, stripped. Big Al with the rebound, or the steal, excuse me, and he fishes it out to Murray Grant. Grant, nice pass to Jason Ogbalu. Oh, he can't finish. That would have been pretty. Chesapeake 10-10 and on the season. It's been a tough year for them. They don't have the same numbers they did last year. And as a result, they've struggled as we see Stewart struggling to get around Jamal Lee. But the defending Region 20 champions can always fight back as that's a foul called against Catonsville and it's gonna be against Jamal Lee, it looks like. It has definitely been a struggle for Chesapeake. Catonsville, meanwhile, coming off a big game themselves. They lost to, Allegheny, to the conference leading Allegheny College of Maryland Trojans, but they played well. And all signs point towards the Cardinals being a factor in the Region 20 tournament. They've been a little inconsistent over the month of January, but they're hoping to close out strong. Here's Stewart for three, sinks it. Five to two. A good start for the Skipjacks. Catonsville now looking for an opening. Inside, Ogbalu. Passes out to Lee. Lee pulls up. Bat out, back out to Ogbalu. Puts up a shot. Got it. A little bit of a tease there on that shot, but got it in regardless. Five to four. Nissen kicks that one out of bounds, and I think they're, yep, they're gonna give it to the Cardinals. Sana arguing with the ref there. I don't think that's gonna work. Here's Grant. Lee. Ogbalu trying to get inside for Big Al. Big Al puts it up. Oh, won't go. It's a tough shot there by Big Al. Couldn't finish it. And now Morgan fighting for the steal. Stewart gets it away to Maccabee. He's being mobbed by two white shirts. Violation called against Maccabee going the other way. Want to take a moment to uh, say just how happy we are with the turnout today. Fantastic crowd out here today. As now, set 20 on the shot clock. They're just resetting the shot clock, it looks like. Cardinals going with another different starting rotation. They've changed their starting lineup for every game this season because they could go three deep sometimes. That's what makes this team so dangerous. They got playmakers 
at every position. Grant pulls up. How are you doing? Big Al dishes it out. It's stolen by Maccabee. He's going the other way. Maccabee goes, oh, get that out of there, Murray Grant. They're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on it. Maccabee took a huge tumble into the tower there on a vicious block by Murray Grant. We're going to have a special surprise for you folks coming up in just a bit, but in the meantime, we're going to wait till our first uh, break in the action to get that as Maccabee, Marquise Maccabee to the line, he'll make his first. Five to five. <laughs> Subs coming in for the Cardinals. They're going to send in Andre Stallings Bacargo. We call him Sticks, number 35, and Joe Nathan Kelly, number five, out of Philadelphia. Happy birthday to Mr. Kelly, Cardinals leading scorer. Second free throw attempt misses, back underway, sticks with the rebound. Morgan trying to go up, get it to Al. Al, it was blocked, rebound taken away by Stewart. As, ooh, Stewart finds Maccabee. Crown wanted a double dribble there, I think. They get it into Nissen. Nissen finds Santa. Santa for three. Won't go. Sticks with the rebound, but it's contested with Rivers. And it's going to be a jump ball. Cardinals will have possession here as we set up something special for you. Possession will go back to the Cardinals. Sticks finds Kelly. Kelly out to Morgan. Morgan fighting for it. Here Sticks pulls back, won't go. Rebound in the air, and it's going to be Maccabee who gets it. And if you hear any rustling in the background, folks, I'm untangling the wires on one of our mics because we're going to have a special guest joining the broadcast in just a sec. Here Sticks fighting for. A steal as he and Nissen hit the ground. A foul is called. Let's see who the call is. It's going to be on sticks. That's going to be his first. We're going to pause real quick, folks, so I can set up this mic and we can get our special guest on. Give us one sec. Just be keeping it alive. Here's Stewart and a foul call. Yes, foul. All right, sir. So to activate your mic, you just want to press that upward and it will be live. Got it? You're live now. And at this time, folks, I'm going to introduce our special guest. One second, let me just get a break in the action real quick. Inbound pass will go to Rivers. He misses rebound taken by Morgan going the other way. Here's Kelly, the birthday boy, fouled on his way to the basket. And this is a perfect time to introduce our special guest, the father of our head coach at CCBC Catonsville, TJ Prelow, Mr. Laney Prelow. Wonderful to have you on the broadcast Absolutely today. Absolutely good to be here. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we've been excited to get you on. TJ came into my office over the summer. It's like, I got a guy who's going to join you in the booth for a couple of games. <laughs> I think you're going to enjoy it. So it's wonderful to have you here, sir. As Joe Kelly makes his first, pushes the Cardinals up 6-5, to five, their first lead since early in the first. There's a couple subs coming in here. We've got Prince Anderson, number four, and Daquan Green, number 15. Both of them very talented three-point shooters. You've got to keep your eyes on them. We're good. And he'll make both. So, Mr. Brelo, you know how college basketball broadcasts work. You can offer your input whenever you like. It's going to be a fun one, I think. Again, we're playing the defending Region 20 champions, Chesapeake. They've gotten off to a rough start this year, 10-10 and 10 on the season. They lost a lot of sophomores from last year's championship team. But so far tonight, they're proving that they can fight as there's a nice hook shot there by number 15. That's Josh Rivers, and that'll give the lead. Well, I'm just hopeful that our talent will come through because we have a talented team. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of potential on this team. Speaking of that potential, yeah. Jaquan Green for three. How about that? Makes it nine to eight. Chesapeake trying to come back. 
Rivers tries to answer for three, won't go. Big Al with the rebound. And finds a wide open Anderson, lays it up and in. And there it is right there. There it is, that's a perfect demonstration of how talented this team can be on a regular basis. Full timeout taken here by Chesapeake. I wanna say, listen, I was saying earlier, one of the best things about this team is that they can go three deep with their lineups. Coach TJ hasn't had a sa the same starting lineup for any of his games. I think he's had the same for just a few. I'll, I'll backtrack real quick. I think he's had the same for a few, but he has mixed it up every game. There's been a new lineup, and that's because this team, they can make three different starting lineups and so many combinations because they've just got so many talented players. And Coach yep. TJ's been working really hard to try and find the right combo for this stretch of the season. And that is correct. And at this time of year, you should know what combos go in what situation. And as I have seen fairly recently, they have done a good job in mixing up those combos, putting in the right people, uh, turning it up at the right time. Tough loss last week at Allegheny, but yeah. uh, you know, it, it happens, it happens. One of the things the Cardinals have got to work on this stretch of the season is consistency. Early in yes. the year, they were able to rail off a bunch of wins real quick. But down the stretch last month, they've been able to get some winning streaks, but there have also been some tough losses. So consistency yeah. is going to be key. Defense is another key here as they're trying to fight through this Chesapeake team, which is playing two centers we noticed earlier. There's the center, one of the centers, Tom Nissen. He kicks out to Stewart. Stewart looking for an open. He's going to go to the other center. That's Azim Sana. Sana guarded by Big Al. Three on the shot clock, got to get it away. Rivers for three, he misses. Big Al with the rebound. And they're going the other way now. Here's Kelly. Kelly, ooh, he slips. Somehow gets it to Prince Anderson. Anderson puts up a shot, Al tries to tip it in. It's blocked and there's a foul. Take it up there, take it up there. Al can be dominating at times, mm -hmm. but you mentioned earlier about consistency. That's where his ability is it lies in how consistent can he be he can be dominant all right, all right. Just make in this, this game make this nice free throw there he's a big guy he's a strong guy and big strong guys who can play mm -hmm. it's uh it's fairly unique in this league it really is chesapeake's got two of those guys one of them just went to the bitch that's tom nissen Isaiah Ville Saint has checked into the game as Big Al is going to miss both of his free throws there. So it remains an 11 to 8 game. Chesapeake only working with six players. They've only got one. And again, that's been a big issue this year for them. McAfee puts up a shot. Oh, just missed as it balanced on the rim for a tantalizing second. Now here's Sticks. They find Kelly. Kelly driving in. Tried to, I think, tried to. Move from a pa from a shot to a pass, but instead got picked off by Ville Saint. Sticks playing good defense, keeping him locked down. Ville Saint now call directing traffic. He's got a big man right there to try and force a pick. He's going to try and squeeze through, and he's stripped away by Prince Anderson. Go strong, go strong, go strong. Anderson finds Big Al. Oh, misses the dunk. Misses the dunk. Ville Saint with the rebound. You were just talking about that consistency. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a very easy bucket right there. And things like that can change a game. You never know. You got to take advantage of that kind of situation. McAfee finds Rivers. Rivers, corner three, won't go. He's got the rebound, though. Surrounded by Green, he's got a kick out and a foul called. I believe that is going to be on, yep, Big Al. Getting set for some subs. Jason Ogbalu, Murray Grant into the game. They're going to take out Big Al. They're going to take out Sticks. And this is going to send. Oh, nope, not a shooting foul. My mistake. Tossing in will be McAfee. Hands up, hands up. McAfee, it was tipped. Stewart's able to grab it. He finds Sana. Sana gets it to Rivers. Rivers back to Sana. Ogbalu, big size difference, but Ogbalu's doing a good job. Sana's trying to drive, puts up a shot, won't go. Kelly with the rebound. Kelly finds Grant. Grant, nice behind the back play. Puts up a shot, won't go. Fight for the rebound. Anderson's got it. Slap, puts it up, won't go. Anderson still got it. He backtracks, gets missed, it to Grant. Missed opportunities right there. Missed opportunities. Can't afford that in a game like this. Yeah, I mean, they, we're only in the first half, and they're playing like it's the final minutes. Ooh, a gnarly block there by Santa. 
off of that Anderson three. I mean, you got a size difference when you got somebody who's six eight like Azim Sana, and you got Prince Anderson who's only about like six one. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, that's right. Every time. And once again, folks, just loving the crowd we got out today. Cardinals basketball last year it was an it was an up and down season. By the way, we're going to have five seconds of the shot clock. We'll 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 finish that thought later. Inbound pass goes to Anderson. Anderson's got to get a shot. Passes to Akbalu. Puts it up and got it. Come on, get down there. Get down there. Thirteen to eight, Cardinals lead. Sana dishes it out to Maccabee. Stewart trying to get around Green. Nearly stripped away by Anderson. Stewart. Sana partially blocked, but he still finishes. I refereed in this conference for about 15 years, mm -hmm. and the one thing I know is when you are playing a team that has six, seven players, man, if you start running and running and running, which Catonsville can do, you can knock this team right out of the box. It's one of the things we focused on this year, this Cardinals team, as Kelly takes a three, won't go, won't go. This is a Cardinals team. They have been known to exhaust their opponents in some of their earlier games. Down the stretch, it's been a little more, you know, as we talked about, inconsistent, but they can still do that. They Here's can. They can. Maccabee the misses. Rebound taken by Grant. Hands Grant up. finds it open. Hands Kelly. Up. Kelly, big man behind it, puts yeah. it up and gets it in. Get defense, defense. I tell you, if Joe Kelly and Mary Grant, if they ever get going together, it's a brand new ball game. Two leading scorers for the Cardinals. Both of them have been awesome this year. Yeah. Sana for three. Ooh, the big man can shoot. Keeps it a two-point game, 15 to 13. Cardinals waiting to get Lance Porter into the game. That's number 11. He's another very talented shooter. Got to watch out for him. And they're going to send in some more subs too. Kelly scything through traffic. Dishes out to Grant. Grant for three. Won't go. Rebound taken by Santa. Going the other way. Rivers finds the big man. Now finds Stewart. Stewart stripped by Grant. Grant going the other way with Kelly. Kelly puts it up and in. Are they going to count that? Are they going to count that? I believe they will. Yes. And as mentioned before, happy birthday to Joe Kelly. Yes, happy birthday, Joe. He's having a, hoping to have a birth, uh, fantastic performance here on his birthday. You know, Joe is a versatile guy. Joe can score from three. Joe can take it to the basket. When he goes to the basket, he's strong with the ball. And like I said, if you if they can get Joe and Mary to just play together, mm -hmm. that could possibly be the best combo in the league. It definitely could. By the way, Cardinal subbed in Isaiah Thomas and Micah Morgan. Yeah. Kelly will make his shot. And they're going to also sub in Lance Porter. So Morgan, we've already seen tonight, very fast, very skilled player. Lance Porter, kind of a kind of skinny build, but he's susceptive. He's a strong dude, and he can play. And Isaiah Thomas, nice three-point shooter. He's one of those guys, he's another one of those depth pieces that the Cardinals can sub in at any time and really can impact a game. Yeah, I like Lance. Lance has talent. He has unpolished talent. And just a few games in this league and just playing at the college level, he is going to be a great player. Definitely will be. Chesapeake trying to run this with their two bigs. Sana puts up a shot, grabs his own rebound, and scores. That's going to be the key for the Cardinals, shutting down those two big men, especially yeah, Sana. Tough, tough trying to go against those big guys. Like Ooh. Agbalu fouled. They're going to count that basket. 20 to 15. Foul was on Nissen, 24. I think they have a technical foul also. Ooh, double technical night. We had a technical in the women's game earlier. Don't see a lot of those. Maybe a taunt. Maybe a taunt, okay. Technical looks like it's gonna be on Ogbalu. I 
And that's going to send Rivers to the line. Yeah, you know, it's an emotional game, but sometimes you have to control those emotions. I remember, we had a women's game here last year where towards the end of the game, Cardinals were winning with a blowout, but towards the end of the game, some words were exchanged, and we had like three straight technical fouls. It's a game. you got to keep your emotions in check as you that first one goes do. in. No luck on the second for Rivers. Now Ogbala will get to shoot his. I believe he just has one shot. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to have a nice play like that and then have the the, the opposing team get anything positive out of it. Go. Missed it. Ogbalu will get. He comes out of it with two. Nice play. Quick passes here. Murray Grant collides with the scores table to get it to Nissen. Nissen puts it up and in. Yeah, might have missed a travel right there. That's why I'm glad we got a, a referee <laughs> calling the game so that you'll be able to call them. I tell you, in the women's game, we had a couple of calls that weren't made. Porter for three. Ooh, missed it. Rebound taken by Bill Saint. We had a couple missed calls. And listen, I'm a, listen, I'm a Cardinals guy. I work for the school. I might be a little bit biased. But there were some calls that were missed in that women's game. So I'm glad we got a referee on the call who can let us know. Stewart, tough basket there, but he got it. And Chesapeake not out of this yet. That ball slapped out of bounds. As they're going to pull Nissen from the game, he's limping a little bit as he heads over to our athletic trainer, the wonderful Miss Abby Miller. Now hopefully everything's okay. It's going to be Catonsville ball. IT inbounds it to Morgan. Yeah, I'm just waiting for us to open it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. We've had a couple games this year where it's been close in the first half, but in the second half they've really started to pull away. Our last home game, we did just that. Here's a shot by Grant. Got it. Cardinals pressing full court. They got him boxed in. He's got to dig it out. It's a little risky. Oh, he only got one guy down there, but Ogbalu manages to get a hand on it. Come on, come on. They're tired. They're tired. Let's go. And knocked it out of bounds. Good transition defense right there. I almost called a foul on that one, but I had to pull it off. So, yeah. <laughs> Nissen, by the way, is getting checked out. I think he may have hurt his ankle. So we'll keep you updated on that. We got about eight minutes to go in the second half. Uh, first half, excuse me, first half. Phil Saint, he's fouled by Porter, and he finishes. Yeah, see, that's what I meant about Lance. He, uh, just young mistakes, young mistakes. That was a young mistake right there. He didn't have to take his body into the guy like that. He could have actually blocked that shot. He's athletic enough to do it. Cardinals are going to sub in Big Al and Jamal Lee. As Ville Saint will shoot one. Missed. Ogbala rebound. They get it to Grant. Grant to Lee. Lee back to Grant. Goes for three. No, he stepped out of bounds. Inbounds pass goes to Stewart. Back underway we go. Stewart looking for options. Scott Maccabee, back to Stewart. Stewart, ooh, dangerous pass there, stolen away by Morgan. Morgan dishes it out to Grant. Grant, floater, won't go, Al, rebound. Got to get it up in a foul. Yeah, Al can use his strength on that play and make a play right there. No shooting foul there, so Agbalu checks out. Foul, by the way, was on 23, Azim Sana. That's his third already. As off the inbounds pass, Lee strikes and scores. That's something to keep our eyes on. Azim Sana already with three fouls. Leading scorer for Chesapeake. He's already in serious foul trouble. We're not even at the half. Rivers. Good defense here by Jamal Lee on Maccabee. Don't want a foul. Trying to push past. Maccabee. Rivers, three. Won't go. Rebound taken by Lee. 
Here's Morgan. Going coast to coast, no, dishes out to Grant. Grant goes for three, won't go. Kelly bounces it back to Murray Grant. Oh, he can't finish Al with the rebound. And I think he got fouled. We'll hold off. Yes. Basket does not count. Foul's gonna be on 15, that is Josh Rivers. Yeah, see, I, I would like to see Al finish more of those plays. He can definitely get that rebound. Go, go, go. Al puts see? that up. Go, go. Yeah, he got hit again. Kelly with the rebound. He dishes out to Grant. Grant for three. Won't go. Ball rolls out of bounds, but it's off of a uh, off of blue jersey. Cardinals ball. Kelly will inbounds. Finds Morgan. Kelly. Back to Morgan. Now back to Kelly again. Kelly for three. Won't go. Rough shot there. Jamal Lee tried to keep it alive, went out of bounds. As those little mistakes, if they pile up, that's keeping Chesapeake in this game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Back come the skipjacks. Here's Rivers trying to drive to the basket. Won't go. There's a scrum for the ball. It's white and a white possession. Rivers trying a little bit of a Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Kareem Abdul Jabbar hook shot there. <laughs> That's what it seemed like at least. Definitely wasn't at that level though. That's a guy I wish I was alive to watch play. That, that shot, every time I've seen that depicted in media or highlights, it's so beautiful. Morgan for three. How about that for a beautiful shot? Nice Micah shot. Morgan. It's good to see Micah hit that, sh that kind of shot right there. Here's Phil Saint trying to respond, and he will. Chesapeake keeping Catonsville on their toes here. Deep pass in for Kelly. Ooh, bad pass, bad pass. Collision there between Big Al and Kelly. Give get Chesapeake right back, right back possession. Here's McAbee. Stolen away by Morgan. Missed the jersey pull. Al, they missed dunk an it. Foul. Yes, baby, he got it that time. Nice play, Al. They missed an intentional foul just now. I saw that. I saw him. Morgan got he his jersey pulled there. His jersey, yeah. yeah, I saw that. You, you got to catch that. 31-25, Big Al with a huge, as uh, Chesapeake's head coach, Andrew Sachs, letting the refs hear it over something. 31-25, the score is going to be a 30-second timeout. Yeah, he should give the refs a break on that because they actually uh, favored him, uh, not intentionally, but yeah. they actually favored him on that play. <laughs> they missed that intentional foul. I saw that too. They uh, that was a clear white jersey pulled there, Micah Morgan, but he was able to get it away to Big Al. Cardinals starting to open up a bit of a lead here, 31-25. Just a reminder, folks, if you want to learn the ins and outs of CCBC Catonsville Cardinals athletics, check out the Red and Black podcast. New episodes each month, in which we dive into the inner workings of the Cardinals. Our February edition is going to focus on men's and women's basketball and this wild season the Cardinals have had with both teams with 12 plus wins, looking like they could be real contenders of the conference. I'm especially excited to talk to women's coach Stretch Brandon. The women's team, best start they've had in over a decade. They look like they might be a real deep threat for the tournament. I have watched them play. They look pretty good. They do. One of the best defenses in the entire region, too. Now, the funny thing is I watched them practice, and they didn't look too good. They, they turn then, it up on game day. They turn absolutely. it up on game day. Definitely. Here's Nissen back into the game, and they're going to call that off. Traveling violation. I'm going to pull a... My alma mater, Towson University, used to say this whenever there was a traveling violation. It was quite simple. You can do that on the bus from here back home, but you can't do that on the floor. That's a traveling <laughs> violation. Shout out to the PA announcer at Towson University. He got that one. He coined that phrase. There's a steal off of Jamal Lee. Chesapeake's going to get another chance here. Maccabee knocked out of bounds by Jamal Lee. 
Got a shout. We got some really passionate fans here tonight. I'm enjoying it. This is a nice crowd. I it is. It is. We've been having nice crowds all year. It just feels like there's been a different aura surrounding CCBC Catonsville basketball. Last couple of years, you know, kind of been a struggle as there's a shot. Nice shot there by Stewart. Well, I'll tell you what, TJ had a design. He did, he did. He came in from day one. Coach Prilo, Prilo was like, here's what we're going to do. Here's Grant, steps back and nails it. Last couple of years, Catonsville basketball, you know, they've been a solid team, but we haven't really had the hype from the local community. Weren't really seeing big crowds unless it was for like the season finale or the season opener. We've had packed houses every night, every night. As there's a steal by Morgan, it's going back the other way. Morgan, nice pass to Lee. Lee will finish. Nice. All right, th this is what I was looking for. This is that run that I was looking for. And Chesapeake starting to pull away. Chesapeake calls timeout. They're starting to fall behind big, as you were right. Catonsville now starting to pull away. They're up 35-27. Ooh, some words being exchanged there, I think, between a couple players. I think that was Jamal Lee. That, that's all right. You, I, I like I like passion like that when, yeah. it, when it doesn't cost you anything. Oh, yeah. Like Timeout's already like been that. called. I'm... Listen, I'm a, I'm an old school guy. I love some good trash talk, yeah. but you got to be strategic with it. You can't be, you that's, can't be talking smack like in a crucial correct. moment. That is correct. <laughs> I know in the preseason we had a preseason game where we had some Cardinals players talking a lot of trash, and I remember watching. I was like, they better not. We better not be. Listen, I love it. it's preseason. We could do that now, but we better not be doing that when the stakes are high. Yeah, and, and you have to be careful because you have to know what referees are doing your game. Mm and how much they're gonna take. We've had this crew before, I think, and if I remember, if my memory suits me, usually they uh, they don't call a lot of fouls from what I've noticed. Uh, I don't know if they favor either the home or away side, but they generally tend to uh, call, a, I'd say a normal amount of fouls from what I've noticed. Yeah. I can't say for other referee crews, but this one I, I recognize a couple of them. They usually do a pretty good job, although they did miss that one call tonight already. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we got a little uh, just shot clock actually went off there, it sounds like. Uh, they didn't start the clock. They didn't start the clock. Okay, I missed that. Well, an incident in the women's game. Uh, ball rolled behind the bleachers, and the ref went to get it, actually unplugged the shot clock. <laughs> <laughs> but it was delayed when it was unplugged. So it didn't, go, it didn't stop working until after we had resumed play. Jump ball, I think, yes, jump ball, possession to the Cardinals. Great hustle by Murray Grant there. Great hustle. I really hope our mics picked that up. I really, if, if they did, you folks will hear that. I really hope our mics picked that up. That was funny. Pass out to Grant. I gotta say, Kelly and Grant, they're doing a great job today. So is Jamal Lee. Ooh. I tell you what, if Jamal gets going, Jamal is the defensive stopper. That one rolls in. Cardinals were up to a 10 point lead, but Chesapeake fighting back. Grant, ooh, bad pass by Morgan. That's a little too much. Picked up by Nissen. Much. Here's Ville Saint, guarded by Morgan, flips out to McAbee. McAbee pushing. Won't go. Going the other way, here's Kelly. Nice play there, tipped in, no. Missed shot opportunity as Jamal Lee. Doing a good job holding Stewart up there. We got it just under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Fast paced first quarter, very fast paced. Here's Rivers. Nice shot, ooh, in and out. Rebound taken by Morgan. Morgan going the other way, finds Al. Al dunks it in. Good look, good pass, good, good pass. Wide open passing lane there yeah. as the Cardinals are getting set to put in a bunch of their bench. Ooh, they're about to put in three of their best three-point shooters, as well as the only returning sophomore from last year's team. Got to give love to number 10. Rivers for three, won't go. Rebound taken by Grant. Grant, ooh, he was trying that to find Kelly. That wasn't the pass, that wasn't Bad the pass. That wasn't the pass to make. And a foul called going to be one and one and I believe it's going to be on I think they're going to give it to Morgan maybe subs coming in for the cards Daquan Green's back in Prince Anderson's back in Isaiah Thomas is back in and also entering for the first time the only returning player from last year's team Jonathan Chester 
this commentator's favorite, the only guy from last year's team who made the cut for this year's team, as it'll be one and one for Andre Stewart. He got the first. That's saying a lot that he came back and made this team because uh, TJ has some high expectations for his players. Uh, he did. There was a play, uh, there were a couple players I remember who were talking in the offseason. It was like, man, he's working us like dogs out there. It's like, hey, that's what we need. That's what we need. We need a coach who's gonna. We need a coach who's gonna be busting us. Cardinals trying to respond now. It shot won't go. Nissen with the rebound. Notice they've had Sana on the bench for the last uh, handful of minutes. Again, he's in some serious foul trouble. There's Chester trying to break up that one. Maccabee keeps it alive. Dishes out to Rivers. Rivers scything through traffic and scores. They're going to count that. You know, I'm watching this game, and I'm trying not to referee this game, but it's <laughs> habit. <laughs> After 30 years, it's just a habit. And they missed a foul on the big guy. Yeah. The, the big guy almost got the ball stolen, and he actually uh, grabbed Jamal's hand mm. trying to get the ball back. And things like that, you know, you have to catch. You got to. Those are the kind of missed calls that sometimes can, can decide a game, by the way. Josh yeah, Rivers yeah. is okay. He got back to his feet after he was down. Jason Ogbalu is checking back into the game. That foul was on Chester. That's his first, and that's going to be Catonsville's ninth. They are one away from the limit. As Rivers goes to the line to shoot, to miss. Maccabee keeps it alive with the rebound. Finds Phil Saint. Phil Saint out to Stewart. Stewart guarded by Anderson. Spinning around, Stewart puts up a tough shot, won't go, bounced it to the air, grabs his own rebound, puts it up, and he's fouled. Ooh. They need to focus on keeping these guys off the boards. And what that means is you can't get caught watching the shot. You have to put your body on a guy when that shot goes up. Murray Grant checking back into the game. Yeah, you're right. I've played plenty of youth of youth game of uh, rec league games where guys just haven't been going to the basket. I found myself the only person running at the basket trying to get that board. Everyone else pauses. <laughs> Three-point game, 39-36. IT steps back, trying to find an opening. Goes to Ogbalu. Ogbalu looks like he wants to go to Chester. Puts yeah. up a tough nice shot, move. and he got nice it. Move. Woo! Chasing Ogbalu, that was a tough one. He had Rivers all over him. Here's Rivers. Wild shot. Chester trying to get it. Oh, you got to get that rebound. And a traveling violation on Nissen. One minute to go until the half. 41-36. It's been a wild game so far. Grant for three, won't go. Rebound taken by Ville Saint. Nissen, tough basket, but he got it. I heard that too, I heard that too. I hope our mics picked that up, because that, <laughs> that was funny. 41-38, final seconds ticking away. You got to get a good bucket right here. Yeah, they're slowing it down here. Shot clock turned off. IT directing traffic. He's going to find Grant. Grant, deep three. Ooh, off. Phil Saints got it. Final seconds off. He's going to get off the half court shot and almost got it. But that'll do it for the half. 41 38. We got a wild one here. We're going to go ahead and take our break. And we'll be back in 15 minutes with the resumption of this game as the Cardinals trail, excuse me, Cardinals lead. 41 to 38. My brain's all frazzled because it's been a fun one. We'll be back in just a bit.
All right. And we're back live at the Jack Manley Wellness and Athletic Center as we get set for the second half of what has been a thrilling contest so far between the Cardinals and the defending Region 20 champions, the Chesapeake Skipjacks. Cardinals currently lead by three, 41 to 38. Been a solid game so far. This is the big man on the mic, Isaac Donsky. Joining me up here, special guest, Laney Prelo, father of head coach TJ Prelo. And uh, so far, it's a pretty exciting game. Cardinals kind of started to pull away there towards the end of the second half, but as we got to closer towards the half, Chesapeake started to fight back there. Yeah, and what you and that's what you don't want to happen. I mean, when you get to that point where you start to pull off, that's when you want to turn it on so that when you come out in the second half, you just continue that run and you want to knock you want to knock their souls out of the box. You know, right at the beginning of the second half and turn this game into a lopsided game early in the second half. Definitely something we're going to look out for. Looking at stats-wise, Cardinals have shot 18 of 42 from the floor, 2 of 12 from three-point range. The three-pointer has not been their friend tonight. They've hit three out of six free throws, six turnovers for the Cardinals, 28 total rebounds, so they have led the way in rebounds, even though Chesapeake's been very good on the boards tonight. In terms of individual, play, individual stats, Jason Ogbalu currently leading the way for the Cardinals with 10 points. Jamal Lee right behind him with eight. Very balanced attack for the Cardinals. All but four players have scored points tonight. Meanwhile, Andre Stewart leads the way for the, for the Skipjacks with 14 points. Leading rebounder for them has been Azim Sana with five. But the big man also has three fouls already. Some big foul trouble, so he's got to be careful through the rest of this game. I have a nice trivia question for you about a Skipjack. Mm-hmm. Do you know what a skipjack is, first of all? So skipjack, I believe it is uh, named after a type of boat. That is correct. So the special thing about the skipjack is that um, it was for oyster harvesting. Nice. And they set, they put a law out that the your boat could only be so big. So somebody came up with the idea that they would have a big boat being pushed by a small boat. Hmm. So the with the idea being that legally the motor was the correct size in the small boat and that's how the skipjack came about. I did not know that. The more you know. I wish we had a nice backstory for the Cardinals, but uh, <laughs> all we can say is that it's a bird that's red and uh, <laughs> I don't know, they look pretty cool. <laughs> So that's the most I can say on that. All but right, that works. Hey, fascinating little history lesson there. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Prelo. Sure. And uh, now let's get back to the game. All right. Uh, by the way, folks, for anyone listening at home, uh, your boy is mic'd up. Uh, the Cardinals have got a documentary being made about them. And uh, so if I sound a little different, it's because I've been chosen to get mic'd up for this game. So it's going to be fun. We're back to the action now. Ville Saint will hand off to McAbee. We're back underway. On the court for the Cardinals, it's Morgan, Lee, Grant, Ogbalo, and Big Al, the starters. And they get it to the big man, Nissen, and he scores immediately. And it's back to being a one-point game. Here's Lee. Morgan. Back to Lee. Into Ogbalo. Ogbalo, nice move there, Good and move, he Jason. scores. Good move. Jason Ogbalo having himself a night tonight. He leads the Cardinals with 12 points. Jason has improved his offensive game from last year. Definitely. Here we go with a foul called there. And I see who that's on. That is on Michael Morgan. That's going to be his second. McAbee on the inbounds. Gets it to Rivers. Rivers finds Ville Saint. Ville Saint out to Stewart. Stewart finds McAbee. Stewart back, five on the shot clock. McAbee nails a three. That was actually a two. Two, you're right. Long two, 43-42. One point game again. Cardinals need a response. 
They find Jamal Lee, Lee to Morgan, Morgan back to Grant. Grant inside to Ogbalu. Ogbalu thinks about it. Might have gotten away with a little bit of a travel, but he's able to score on his own rebound. Chesapeake coming back. Nissen inside, dishes out Phil Saint for three. Nails it and ties this baby up at 45. And the defending Region 20 champions are not going away. Morgan hands off to Grant. Grant finds Ogbalu. Ogbalu won't go. Fight for the rebound. Lee follows through and he's fouled. You want to get those easy buckets. They add up. Lee will hit his first and gives the Cardinals the lead back. Lee will not make the second. And we return to the action. A couple of players getting bumped around out there. Here's Ville Saint. Good defense from Murray Grant. Tipped into the, into the air, Nissen somehow grabs it. And it's rebounded by Grant. Going the other way, here's Jamal Lee. Lee trying to finish and he will. Jamal hits a couple baskets. He turns into a defensive monster. Yes. On the response here, Stewart. Gets a nice pick there from Nissen. I think Nissen broke out of the pick too early though. Maccabee trying to find an opening. Shot clock down to 10. Maccabee dishes out to Stewart. Stewart will miss Lee with the rebound. Bad pass by Lee finds Rivers and he'll score. A mistake there by Jamal Lee. Chesapeake is keeping right in this one. Yeah, he had more room than he thought to make that play. Akbalu. Lee, Jamal Lee puts it up, and he's fouled. So Jamal Lee will go to the line to shoot two. The foul was on number five, Andre Stewart. That's his second. Lee's first is good. As Azim Sana checks back into the game, not really playing both centers like they did at the start now. Chesapeake's changing them out. Lee will miss his second. Keeping it alive now. Here come the Skipjacks. McAbee looking for an opening, finds Rivers. Rivers gets it to Sauna. Sauna, ooh, lost control of it, it's picked up by Murray Grant. Going the other way, Murray Grant, trying to go coast to coast, puts up a tough shot. Big Al with the rebound, has got to fight for it and he's fouled. And when we can get, when we can get Al to finish on those plays like that, That'll turn some things around. Inbounds pass will go to Grant. Tries to score off of it. Won't go. Rebound taken by Chesapeake. Going the other way now. Maccabee looking for an opening. Trying to get around Jamal Lee. Maccabee. Inside gets to Sauna. Sauna, Al covers, gets a hand on it. Nice block by Big Al. A wonderful block by Big Al and it's going the other way. Micah puts it up, won't go. Al tips it in. That's how you play end to end right there. Hell yeah. Coast to coast, I like to say it. Cardinals now trying to get a response on defense here. Morgan got a piece of it, knocked it out of bounds. It will remain Chesapeake ball. 51-47, Cardinals lead. 
as now looks like we're getting ready to put in Joe Kelly and Taquan Green. And Coach Prelo is going to check them in both. Pull in Grant, pull in Morgan. I'd like to see Daquan Green get some more action tonight. Last home game, he went off. I think he hit with five threes as Murray Grant frustrated on the sure sideline. Stay on your man, Al. Stay on your man. He's coming through. Al, yeah. nice block. Gets it into the hands of Kelly. Ogbalu out to Lee. Lee for three. Won't go. Ogbalu with the rebound. Puts up a shot himself. It's short. Lee with the rebound, and he's fouled. Jamal is all over the place tonight. That, that, that's what I like about Jamal. When he gets going, he can play on both ends, especially on the defensive end. Can you see the mic real quick? Check the mic. Okay, you're good. You're good. There you go. Lee's got his first. And don't, check, don't look now. Lee is up to 13 points on the night. Great night so far for Jamal Lee. Lee, that's the third time that he's made his first but missed his second. Hopefully that won't cost the Cardinals, but that's going to be something to keep our eyes on as Jamal Lee kind of struggling there to hit some crucial shots. Yeah, we can't shoot 50% from the foul line. You cannot. You can't afford it, especially against a team like Chesapeake. They are refusing to go away. McAbee, shot up, got it. Marquise McAbee. Very dangerous player. Cardinals have got to work hard to contain him. Here's Kelly trying to fight out, and I think jump ball. Yes. It will be Cardinals' possession. Inbounds pass. Green for three. Got it. Daquan Green flashing some of that greatness we saw in the last matchup against the Anne Arundel County Riverhawks. 55-49. Stay on 2-4, 2-4, stay on him. Keeping it alive, keeping it alive. Sana, he scores and responds. Four point game, 55-51. Green, deep three, won't go. Rebound fought for, Sana's got it. And a chance for Chesapeake to dig into this Cardinals lead even more. Ville Saints, inside to Nissen. Nissen dishes out, stolen by Kelly. Nissen fights and he grabs it, hands off to Maccabee. Maccabee dishes out to Ville Saint. Ville Saint for three, won't go. Stewart puts it up, and finally the Cardinals are able to grab control of the ball there with Big Al. Yeah, but that was too many chances right there. So it's ours? White. White. White, yeah. Deep three from Kelly. Oh. Won't go. Rebound fought for. Ooh. Sauna. Wild inbound. Wild pass there by Sauna to try and keep that ball alive. And that almost took off Jamal Lee's head. <laughs> Joe Joe is a little off tonight. He, he's not uh Joe is a sharpshooter. That was a uh, that shot didn't even hit the backboard. Uh, it didn't even hit the rim. Let's see if Kelly can get his mojo back on this next shot. Yeah. Green inbounds goes to Al. Al hands off to Daquan. Green looking for an opening. Five on the shot clock. Got to shoot. Hands off to Ogbalu. Akbalu pulls up for a three. Oh, won't go. And that's going back the other way. Yeah, so you got to be aware of the shot clock. You know they made a special concession to change the clock, to get the clock to 11 seconds. So everybody had to know it was only 11 seconds there. Cardinals defense now pressing. Green trying to choke up on Bill Saint. 
And doing a great job of it. Bill Saint manages to finally get it away to Stewart. Stewart guarded. Green almost got a strip there on Sana, and he does. Oh, and a foul is called. What? You don't agree with the call? You don't agree with the call? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's Agbalu. That was not the call on that play. Uh, shooting foul here, inbounds pass goes to Ville Saint. That's why I'm glad we got a ref up in the booth with us as Ville Saint. Jamal Lee playing great defense there. He manages to get it to the big man, Nissen. Nissen finds Sana. Sana out to Stewart. Five on the shot clock. Stewart puts up a tough shot, won't go. Rebound taken by Green. And he finds Kelly. Kelly going the other way. Kelly, shot, up, won't go. They call it off and a foul. Yeah, that actually was a and good call. And it's on Kelly. That actually was a good call. I think one more dribble and he puts that up and then he has the big guy in a bad position. On that play, he just jumped right into the big guy. That was actually a good call. Well, I don't know if it was a good call. It was the right call. Let me use that word. Gotcha. Balu checking out of the game. They're going to put sticks in, 35. Chesapeake ball, 55-51 Cardinals lead with about 12 and a half minutes to go in this second half. It has been a thrilling game so far. And we are glad you are able to join us at home, folks, on the Cardinals network. Cardinals now pressing harder than they have all game long, and there's going to be a quick foul there. Foul's going to be on Taquan Green, it looks like. Jamal Lee out of the game now. Michael Morgan back in. Inbounds pass goes to Sana. Sana. Steal by Kelly. See, that, that Kelly trying to go the distance. Foul. Kelly scores. That, that was another intentional foul. You cannot miss that call. You cannot. And a foul call, timeout called there by Chesapeake. They're going to need it. Again, we have to keep in mind, Chesapeake only has six available players for this game. So one has to wonder if, if at any point exhaustion is going to start setting in for them, especially with some of those bigger guys who are like 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, and that is what you hope. And that, that, that's the point that I was making earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to run these guys out of the gym. You can't give them a chance to recover. You can't give them a chance to get their breath. I mean, you know, they, they have six guys. Six guys is not really survivable, yeah. not really. You can do it. Our women's team was able to do it earlier today. Six players and they still won by mm. a large margin. So tough. it is possible. It's tough, it's tough. But then they have to force, uh, you know, we, we have to force them to play our game. Right. If you play their game, yes, they can survive. Looking ahead for the Cardinals, by the way. Their next game back here on Friday night against the Community College of Beaver County. Then it's on the road to face off against the College of Southern Maryland, a game that was postponed due to those winter storms that came through. They're back home to face Westmoreland Community College on the road against Hartford, and they close out the season with, a, with four games in five weeks at home as they face Potomac State, Northern Virginia, Monroe College on the road, and it close out the year against Hagerstown and Howard. So some tough opponents down the stretch for the Cardinals. A lot of teams who are fighting for playoff positioning in the always stacked Region 20. It is definitely going to be a battle for the Cardinals down yeah, the stretch here. Got to finish out these games. And it all starts with this. If they can get a win tonight over the defending Region 20 champs, they will have a chance. And I firmly believe they will. It's been a great season so far for the Cardinals. See what they can do here. Maccabee is fouled. And Morgan is slow to get up. And he is still on the ground. See, that, that's not the ideal play right there. That, that yeah. guy was out of control. If you set up and take that charge, you're going to get that charge on that, on that play right there. Morgan finally back on his feet. Limping a little bit, but he looks to be okay. Hopefully nothing serious there. Cardinals have been very lucky. They have not dealt with injuries too much this season. We did have, we were without 
Andre Stallings Macargo for the first chunk of the season due to a broken finger, but he made a great recovery in his back as Maccabee makes his first. But overall, the Cardinals haven't had to deal with injury concerns much this season. Very different from the last two years where injuries were a big part of the Cardinals down the stretch. And I credit our wonderful athletic training staff for that. They've done a great job this year of keeping our players healthy. Here's Kelly. Trying to fight around Ville Saint. Dangerous pass, shouldn't have made that, and it's picked off by Maccabee. Maccabee coming the other way, and it's partially blocked by Sticks, and Green scoops it up. Yeah, nice they, they steal by Jaquan Green. Green pulls up for three, won't go. Rebound taken by McCargo. Now Big Al, and he puts it in on a little bit of a delayed, delayed dunk, but he got it anyway. 59-53, Cardinals reestablishing their lead here. Yeah, these guys are missing a couple critical calls. They actually missed the basket interference call just now on, on the previous possession. Stewart sinks a deep one, I think. Are they gonna call that three or two? Because he was right on the line. Meanwhile, a timeout called by Catonsville. <laughs> the refs are discussing it right now. They're gonna call that three. So 59-56, three-point game. It's gotta be one of the toughest calls to make when he's right on the line. Like, well, what, what do you usually I, lean to when he's that close? Uh, so I thought that his foot was on the line, but from our angle and way behind him, uh, you can have a help call. Right. You can, have a, you can always have a help call. So the official on the opposite side of the floor can see where his toe is. Gotcha. And if there's any doubt, you blow your whistle right away, and you make that call. Um, you don't call it a two and then come back without a monitor and then call it a three. Cardinals just letting it roll here. We got about 10-ish, uh, excuse me, 11-ish minutes to go in what has been a crazy game. Kelly, McCargo, back out to Kelly. Tough pass, Kelly, Grant. Grant pulls up, floats it in, no. Rebound Nissen. And Grant took a tumble there, he's back on his feet. Stewart, trying to get around Grant, he can't, he's gonna have to call timeout. Great defense there by Murray Grant, forcing Andre Stewart to call a timeout. Nice defense right there. Looking ahead for Chesapeake, by the way, after Catonsville, they've got to go up against the number one team in the in reach of 20, Allegheny College of Maryland. Now, Catonsville, we played them last week. Tough loss for the Cardinals, but they played well from what I've heard. They did. It was a 10-point loss. Just couldn't get over the hump. Gotcha. And Allegheny is talented. They are. I mean, Region 20, the great thing about Region 20 basketball, something that you have noticed from uh, the last couple of years calling these games, is that every year it's somebody new. Like, well, Region 20 doesn't really have one. They got a couple teams that are always kind of up there, up towards the top of the standings, but every year there's somebody new, you know, coming through and emerging as the big show. Last year it was Chesapeake. They went on that crazy run, 30-4. and four. Uh, This year it's looking like Allegheny. I believe it was uh, Howard my first year who was the real powerhouse. Howard and MC. Usually some of the, you know, bigger, wealthier counties always have, like, really good well put together, well recruited teams. But every year there's somebody new. I remember earlier this year we were seeing Cecil College like really go up there in the rankings thinking, wow, Cecil, really? Okay. Cecil it's just was the powerhouse uh, in my early years reference in mm -hmm. the conference. Cecil was the powerhouse and then, you know, it became uh, Howard. Mm -hmm. uh, Harford had a little run there for a minute. So it's, it's, it's been, uh, you know, interchangeable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a lot different I think from the women's game because the women's game is kind of just, CCBC Essex kind of just runs the conference and yeah. everybody's trying to figure out <laughs> how can we knock them off. But again, hey, I'll say this, this year we might have a chance. We're yeah. finally starting to show something. Well hey, if you can step up and beat national champs then that's a big statement. And that's what Catonsville's trying to do tonight. Beat the defending champions. Not national obviously, region. 10 on the shot clock, Santa, good D there but McCargo just doesn't have the size to stop a shot from Hazim Sana. It's a big guy. And with 10 minutes to go in this one, 
It's a one point game, 59-58. Grant trying to find open man, he finds McCargo, won't go. Cardinals have struggled shooting the last couple of minutes. They just haven't been able to hit what should be some pretty easy shots. Here's Stewart. Looking for an opening. Kicks it out. Josh Rivers will miss the three, rebound taken by Grant. Grant going the other way, looking for an opening. Finds Daquan Green. Green flips it out. Kelly, oh, they're gonna call an offensive foul. Yeah, he, uh, he, he passed the ball, but the play continues and that official stayed on the play like he was supposed to and he made the call. Now the official, I think, tell it to Quan Green. I think to Quan Green and uh, Marquise Maccabee, I think we're exchanging some words there as another foul is called. And this one's on McCargo. It's starting to get a little bit chippy out there. As this is gonna send Sana to the line to shoot to one and one. A chance here to get take to give the lead over. Yeah, he as makes an official, first. you have to be super focused in this situation where you see it getting a little intense and everything because uh, what happened just now was they caught the second foul. Right. And Chesapeake has the lead, 60 to 59. They came into this building as the defending champs, and they are playing like defending champs, but Catonsville's giving them a good fight. Here's McCargo. Stripped away, but he keeps control somehow, and the foul is called. That foul was on Stewart, by the way. That's his third. And now... Still a couple fouls away from the bonus. They're going to stop right here. They're going to try to get the players to kind of get a... And get a get a damp spot out of the feet out of the court. It looks like it happens. McCargo will inbound to to Quan Green. We're back underway. McCargo Kelly for three. Got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Huge three from the birthday boy, Joe Kelly. This is what we need out of Joe. And the Cardinals are back on top, 62-60. It's turned into a track meet here at the Jack. Both teams going back and forth. We need a good defensive stop. Rivers, open, finds Nissen. Out to Maccabee. Maccabee back to Santa. Sana back to Maccabee. Santa, Sana, same thing. Maccabee, 10 on the shot clock. Can't find an opening. Finds Rivers, he has to reach for it. Inside to Nissen. Five on the shot clock. Two, one. Sana finally puts one up, misses. Maccabee bounces back. That's going the other way. So the Cardinals get away with a big stop there by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> now trying to return. Here's Green, inside tough pass to Ogbalu. Out to Murray Grant, Grant for three. Won't go, Kelly with the rebound. Kelly puts it up, won't go. Tipped around, somebody grab it, and it's Murray Grant. He finds Daquan Green for three, won't go. Sana with the rebound, but he loses it. Out of bounds, Cardinals ball. All right. That was a wild sequence there. Yeah, let's settle down here. <laughs> I like to call those sequences volleyball sequences because it's just, at this point, we're just waiting for somebody to spike it. Up and down, <laughs> up and down. It's like, somebody grab it. Come on. <laughs> like, this isn't football, guys. We're not trying to knock down an interception. We're trying, not trying to knock down interception. Here's Kelly for three. There oh! we go. Here we go. Here we go. Joe Kelly smacks it. Here we go, this is what can happen with Joe. He, can, and he's, he can get hot. He's up to 15 on the night. He is up to 15 on the night. 
Loose ball. Mobbed by three white jerseys. McAbee gets it away to Stewart. Stewart puts up a jumper. Will go. Fighting for the rebound. Rivers has got it and he scores. You picked a great game to join us for the first time. It's a thriller out here. Yeah. I would have now personally. I would like it to be a little more spaced out, but you know it's all right. They get it inside to Kelly. Kelly, excuse me, to Big Al. Big Al finds Green. Green outside to Kelly. Can he go again? Yes, this he can. This is what can happen with yes, Joe. Yes, he can. Oh my goodness! Joe Kelly with another huge three. This is how Joe can get going. That's what I was talking about earlier. 68-62. And the Cardinals have opened it up. Defense needs to stop here. The Cards lead by four. Excuse me, they lead by six. Excuse me. There's a three, won't go. Sana, that wasn't gonna work. And it's going back the other way. Inside, Kelly, outside, Green. Hit it! Takes a bounce, won't go. Rivers with the rebound. And he breaks away from Agbalu. Had the whole crowd on his feet for that one. We all wanted him to hit it. <laughs> it almost went down. Now the last time the Cardinals were able to open up a lead like this, remember Chesapeake was able to come back, so we're not out of it yet. We got about six minutes to go. Yeah, this, this is when you have to put the hammer down. Get a stop here and... McAbee shot Ogbalu oh. with the block and that's a foul. That's a good foul. I, 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 you gotta take that foul. You gotta take that foul. Make him, make him go to the line. Carlos got lucky there on a couple of missed shots, but man, Joe Kelly has opened it up. Three straight threes for Kelly. He's up to 15 points on the night. That's what I was talking about with Joe. I mean, at any point, it can turn into fire. Nissen will shoot two, and he misses yeah, his first. See, there you go. That's, that was a good foul. Subs coming in. They're going to put Morgan and Lee back in. Cardinals not really going to their bench so far in the second half. The really the few substitutions they've usually made, they've cycled through some of the usual suspects. And that's something I've noticed with this team is that when it comes down to crunch time, you're not going to see Coach Prelude kind of cycle through all of his players unless he knows like we're up big. He's usually going to cycle through just a few. And you were right, good foul, missed one there. Rebound, Nissen steals it and won't get his points. It's they, they need to box out. Uh, the on, point I made earlier, you have to put a body on someone when that ball goes up. Chesapeake's going to get another chance. And they get it inside to Nissen. Nissen has it batted back to himself. Ogbalu, good defense. He's been playing a great game. Ooh, foul. Ooh. Foul called on Grant. Two shots coming up here for Andre Stewart. St Stewart will make his first. Chesapeake, by the way, only returned four players from last year's championship team, and one of them is inactive tonight. Yes, there goes that. Nissen, Sana, and McAbee, the only returning players from last year's championship team, as is Kyle Jones, who we have not seen play tonight. I do not believe he is active. Other than that, it's mostly just freshmen. Morgan. Out to Kelly. Kelly for three, won't go. Fighting for the rebound is Murray Grant. He's got it, he finds Kelly, and he's fouled. Ran straight into Nissen. I think he slipped a little bit, but that's going to count as a foul. As you know what time it is, so Joe Kelly will go to the line to shoot two. Neither team at the limit just yet. Although Catonsville's one away from filing over. That's <laughs> hard Love the passion. Got some family members up here in the stands loving the passion we've seen tonight from the fans. Yeah. As like Kelly. I said, like I said, this is oh. miss his first. Oh, That's a tough one. Sana's gonna check back in, as is Big Al. Again, Coach Prelo.
And he makes a second. So Kelly, one to two for the line. 69-64. 68-65, excuse me. Cardinals D needs a stop. Oh, Lee goes down to the back. Blue. That was illegal. No, you, 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 you have to catch that on that screen. You got to catch the big guy throwing that, up, throwing that forearm like that. Car Nissen stepped out of bounds. Possession will go. But you're right. They missed Jamal Lee getting shoved to the ground there. Been a couple of missed calls tonight by the refs. 69-64 the score. Catonsville not out of the woods yet. They've got to get something here. Here's Kelly for three. Wouldn't have taken that one. Sana with the rebound. Going the other way. Morgan trying to get the block. Kelly dodges. Bad shot by McAbee. Going back the other way. Kelly trying to go the distance. Puts up a shot and he's fouled. Needed two on that one. Yeah, Joe uses his body well when he goes to the bucket mm. and he protects the ball. So nice. he gets to the line. And when he gets to the line, he knocks down his shots. And I will say this about Joe Kelly. His mom, Corvette, currently leads all, uh, all uh, fans in winning uh, swag from our Cardinals uh, trivia halftime shows. She is, <laughs> she is nice. up here every halftime. Not, trying to get more shirts. Up? That was her who came up earlier, all right, yeah. All right. <laughs> Kelly will go to the line to shoot two once more and will miss the first. All right, Joe. You don't see Joe missing a lot of foul shots. Stewart checks back in for Chesapeake. He will replace Nissen. By the way, Sana is at four fouls. He's one away from fouling out, and that's something you do not want that situation. Kelly will make a second. 70-64. Cardinals lead by six. Four minutes to go in what has been a thrilling contest. Lee, nice strip out of bounds. It'll remain Chesapeake ball, but great defense there by Jamal, Jamal Lee. Starting to hear some trash talk from the crowd. I love it. Here's Santa. Wide open. Puts it up. And a foul. Oh, and that's his fifth. That is his fifth yeah, he's charge. Out. He's out. Sana's out. He's out. He's done. Well, I was just telling you, he was going to foul out. And that's five for Azim Sana. Yeah, you just said it on a previous possession. You just, you just brought it up. Yeah. And there it is right there. I'm checking the – I'm actually going to go ahead and check the fouls. See, this is where we get to an interesting situation because Josh Rivers for Chesapeake, number 15, he's also got four. One guy's already fouled out. As they're waiting for Nissen to, to join the game. They yeah, keep playing see, if they keep playing if they had uh, if they have multiple guys foul out, right? They will. They, they will. will. It's perfectly legal. You only need to start with five. Reminds me of in a game I remember watching. I was in an airport bar. I remember watching an Alabama Auburn basketball game like in November years ago. Well, Alabama had to play with just two guys. I think they were playing Auburn. Here's Lee with the shot, won't go. Big Al puts it up and in. So that's definitely something to keep our eyes on if Chesapeake has another player foul out, which they could. There you go. Oh, a foul called here. No, no foul. He stepped out of bounds. Ah. Come on, let's go, let's go. Hands up, hands up. Anderson getting ready to check in. No, he's going back up. Inbounds, we're back to the action. Stewart for three. In and out. Rebound bounced around and secured by Ogbalu. 
Maccabee goes down, Ogbalu goes coast to coast and scores. Yeah, it, it, this is what you do right here. This is what you do, you take advantage of the numbers now. And with three minutes to go, it's a 10 point lead for the Cardinals. Yeah, you take advantage of the numbers right here. You got uh, the, the one big guy still in the game, but he looks like he has a little limp. He so does. So they are essentially down to four guys. Remember, earlier in the game, Nissen went out with an ankle injury. He came back in. So that is something to keep an eye on. They are working on his ankle, it looks like. Yeah, he's tightening up that shoe. Keeping track. By the way, we're keeping track of the stats. Uh, for those who are keeping track, Big Al Abode has yet another double-double. 11 rebounds, 10 points tonight. I believe he's, aver he's averaging at least one a game at this point. He's basically guaranteed to get a double-double with his size. Some other players to note, because we always give out our player of the game award at the end of, the co of each contest. Joe Kelly's got 20 points on the night. I'm looking at Jason Ogbalu having a fantastic night. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. He has been on fire tonight, too. One of his best performances of the season. So with 3 minutes to go... Cardinals lead by 10, 74-64, trying to close this one out. But remember, every time the Cardinals start to get a run going, we've seen Chesapeake slowly edge back into the contest. They did this earlier. Yeah, Jason has quietly been the spark tonight. Yeah, he has. If you look back on it, he hit a few key buckets. He got a few key rebounds. He made a few defensive plays. And, you know, yeah, some of it is showing up in the, in the box score. But that does wonders for a team. Well, when we choose player of the game, we try to look at the player who, whose overall impact was the biggest on the game as a whole. And we're not just looking at who scored the most points, but that does go into consideration. Stewart nails a three, and just like that, uh, well, what did I say? What did I say? Chet speaks right back in it. Morgan finds Big Al. Oh! That's the old Kobe to Shaq play, yeah, 2000 Western yeah. Conference Finals came calling. <laughs> How about that? Nice recall. Stewart trying to keep it alive, won't go. Nine point lead for the Cardinals. Lee, Anderson, Morgan, trying to fight in. Finds Lee. Lee, Al, oh, missed that one. Lee with the rebound and he's fouled. They're starting to, that's why we love the big man, Big Al. When he's on it, he is on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those those plays like that, those dunks, and you know, they can turn the game around. They, 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 I mean, they get the crowd on their feet. The energy is just crazy. Yeah. Jamal Lee, meanwhile, will go to the line to shoot two as uh, Chesapeake one away from the limit. Lee will make his first. And it's back to a 10 point lead. Fingers crossed. One more. Steal, Lee, has he got it? Yeah, he's got it. Lee puts it up, oh, what a shot. Oh, what a there, shot. There's Jamal, there's Jamal. Jamal Lee with a beautiful shot there. And a mistake there, Rivers throws it out of bounds. Come on, Cardinals. There it is, you, you, you make that, uh, that team turn it up more than they want. You, you speed them up and they only have five guys, they can't afford it. And uh, as the old saying goes, we're starting to see some uh, Chesapeake fans heading for the exits. <laughs> as there's an offensive foul against the Cardinals. I believe that was on Kelly. And that'll put the Cardinals over the limit. Well, right at the limit, right at the limit. As again, it's a common sight in the second half. They got to wipe down the floor once more. It's been a very common occurrence. But yet, uh, the last couple of sequence plays, about a minute and a half to go, starting to see some Chesapeake fans filing for the exits. The old saying goes, folks, you don't got to go home, but you can't stay here. Inbounds pass is stolen by Lee, went out of bounds. Chesapeake possession. So 
So let's see if Chesapeake can try and get back into this one. Still plenty of time. No Minute foul. 30. No Stewart for three. Ooh, he got it. No foul. And it's a 10 point game, 80 to 70. Cardinals need another bucket. Lee tripped up. Oh, it's stripped. Oh, don't go anywhere yet, folks. Tipped out of bounds. Possession will stay with Chesapeake. As now, ooh, how about this? Cardinals are gonna send in one of, uh, Cardinals are gonna send in number 30, Cam Scott, sophomore guard from Randallstown, Maryland. Haven't seen him a lot this season. There's a three, won't go out with the rebound, dishes it out. I believe Scott, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Scott's one of the walk-ons, correct? He is. Yeah, he's he one is. of the two walk-ons on the team. He is, but he he, he worked hard, mm -hmm. you know, he, he, he comes to practice, he works out. He takes coaching, and you know, you, you like to reward guys like that. Scott got some minutes in the last game too, so good to see him in there. As a foul called, I don't think they're gonna count the basket there. We got less than a minute to go. Yeah, you just don't wanna be giving up easy buckets at this point. They will count the basket. They will count the basket for Nissen, so it's an eight point game. Nissen can make it seven. So don't go anywhere, folks. And they have five guys. You want to make them play hard defense when you oh, yeah. get this ball. Make You have to make them play hard defense and take that clock down. This is shot, didn't go. Anderson can't afford to dribble it out, and he's fouled. I got to nail these free throws. It's the yeah. only way to keep ahead. Got to make them count. And I'm watching Scott in there because usually Coach Prelo likes to put in his walk-on walk players towards the end of the games. This is the first time I've seen him put a walk-on in into a game when the game hasn't been fully decided yet. So that's I, I like the opportunity for this young man. Yeah, I think Cam is developing a little bit. Cam, at this point, confidence is a big thing with Cam right now. Gotcha. Well, I'd love to see the other walk-on. Nug, uh, Nug Joseph get some action, too. He got a couple of minutes in an early game in the first half of the season. As Anderson nails both, puts it back to a 10-point game. That gives the Cardinals some very much-needed assurance with 30 seconds to go. Chesapeake trying to respond quickly. Ville Saint looking for an opening. Cardinals cannot foul. Stewart for three and uh, hits it. Oh, my. Here's Scott. Nice pass to Lee. Lee keeps it alive. Finds Morgan. 10 on the clock left. Anderson. Lee. Don't. Is there a whistle? No. I got a bizarre ending there. I thought there was a whistle. I'm not sure what happened. But the defense just stopped defending, and Jamal Lee held back from scoring there. But that's going to do it. 82 to 75. The Cardinals get the job done. They win it, their 13th win of the season. They take down the defending Region 20 champs. Nice victory. Very nice victory indeed. Player of the game, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Jason Ogbalu. Very dominating presence on the court all game long. Made some crucial shots and was basically a, very, a big key for the Cardinals in establishing their leads. He big was shout definitely out. a yeah. key in this. He was he was a key. He hit those key buckets, oh, and exactly. you know when you when you look up, and you still have your lead or you increase your lead, you want to know. Wait a minute, how do we do it? Yeah, um, that's what Jason did. That's that's what Jason did tonight. I'll give a special shout out to Joe Kelly. Happy birthday to him. He finishes the night with twenty points. With that being said, folks, we're gonna go ahead and sign off for the night for the next game. 7 o'clock on Friday, the Cardinals take on Beaver County as they begin the home stretch to close out this season. I want to thank you, sir, Mr. Laney Prelo, for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. It was uh, it's a great view up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my big question, of course, is will we see you again with the Cardinals uh, up here in the, on the mic with us for I a couple games? I will definitely come back. All right. Love to hear that. Well, in the meantime, folks, we want to thank you for tuning in, as always. The Cardinals get the win here tonight, 82-75. to 75. Big win over the defending Region 20 champs. This is the big man on the mic, Isaac Donsky, signing off. We will see you on Friday for the next contest as the Cardinals take on Beaver County. Good night, everybody.